Hi guys, this is a video about the Arclix app Glade or Arclix app. In in May, yeah, May 2023, we created a tutorial how to create the GTK3 application with Python. And there is one without Glade, so the application Glade is the user interface, and there's one with. That's what this topic is, topic is about. There are lots of cool things in these um, applications. And one of the things why we're making this video is a mention on the Discord this morning. So I've just updated all the packages. You do the same, so update your system. You get in the Arch Linux tweak tool, you get in the Arcanix, Glade and normal app, right? So both of them are installed. When I type AA, I can run this one, the Arcanix app. And you hear the thing was, the problem was the user has a problem with building Plasma, right? Plasma. Now, this is probably not going to be updated in the future. So know that. And AAG is the other application which I prefer. If I want to update anything, it'd probably be this one because I like the idea that it's more structured in three pages. The thing is, we want to start building something, this one, and start building Plasma. In so many videos already, I've told you, if there is an error, if you click Create and nothing comes out, there is no ISO as a result, you have to look for the hold have to see what's going on. So the hold for Alacrity means there is a pop-up, there is Alacrity, and then he's doing its job. And if there is an error, we hold it open so we can read the error because the logging is not there. There is no logging except inside Alacrity. You can see uh, the servers are down, there's a key problem, there's a conflict in packages. It can be so many things, but you need to know what. So if you have an issue, if you think that's the reason why, then you have to look, uh, you have to activate the hold option and use the create. Now always remember this and any other application is a GUI to the backend. And what is the backend? The backend is basically here. So this is the Arclinux app clade. The page is here, Arclinux app, all information is here. The thing is, what we're giving you is basically the same thing that's here. Build your own ISO today, this morning, on any of these guys, right? And we want to build Plasma. So the only thing we do with this nice little GUI is grab code. This is how we build your Plasma ISO, right? You go to the desktop, nothing there, fine. And then Control Shift. V. And the only thing we do is run number 40. That's it. That's what we do in the app. If we do hold, the thing stays open and we can have a look if there is an issue. But first, I would say just do it like this, right? Hold for Alacrity is off and see if it works. So let's see. That's the thing, right? It opens up. And if there is something well, in this case, there won't be any problem, I guess, since it's building already, or it's downloading, and 129 packages need to be installed now. Well, not only these. These are the ones it needed that I had not in my cache, the var cache. Remember, always a good thing to, to show you and repeat the SUV, the car, remember the car. Where are my packages? Here, for cache Pacman packages. So the things he installed, he downloaded, that's the ones I was missing in this particular folder. Now he's building already. So normally this will just finish. As you see, it's building its uh, ISO. You can follow along. In here, for example, Outlinks B built, right? He's doing his work. This moves around. This, this, you see the files changes. The number of files, I don't know where 
you maybe have a look at the 113 files if files uh, get added or folders get added the numbers will increase so this is where the work is been done he is writing stuff away installing it in this particular folder and then later making an ISO from it so again um, a reminder that you should add the hold you should use a hold option just to see what's going on because this is your build and if you say if you say no uh, this doesn't work for me use this one right 40 build the ISO local again this is just the way we did it previously before we had the, the, the GUI the application because every single ISO I built is not built with the GUI it's just launched this particular run script 40 all right Enjoy.